Welcome back everybody and welcome to a new video. This video is on how to make a glowing text now. Instead of making your logo glowing like I did in my first video which got a lot of success, I'm going to show you how to make it with text. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do, and it's super easy, but you're just going to grab a background and the ideal background is a dark background. So I do like the bricks background. As you saw with my first video, um, it's the same exact background. So if you want to go find this back background, go watch that first video and basically just grab a bricks background and you can, you can do it. I mean, it can be whatever kind of brick you want, but all it's got to do is it's just got to be dark. The next thing that you're going to do, grab a text that you like. And again, I keep saying this, but I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just go on them and they really help me out. And I wish I knew this when I started, but to font.com that's where I get every font I've pretty well ever had. But so I'm just going to grab a font and um, I mean, I, I keep using this. I use this in the last one too, but let's just do Galligator. Let's, and I, <laughs> let's capitalize it all the way. Galligator. All right. So we got Galligator. Um, I like this font. If you want to know what font this is, this is agency capitalized FB. Don't know what that stands for, but that is what it is. So let's go and make this bigger. We're gonna make it bigger and all we're gonna do, I'm just gonna center it so you guys can see it. Easy enough and there we go. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna do is now that you have this all ready and situated, you're just gonna go ahead and double click on this right here so you can check the layer style. And there's gonna be only three things, uh, four things, sorry. Four things that you're gonna need. First one, color, color overlay. The color needs to be white, always white. That's like the only way it's going to work. So make it white, simple enough. The next one, we're going to add a drop shadow as we always do. And here I'll show you right now. I always forget to put it in the middle, but here I'll zoom in for you right there. Go ahead and uh, obviously copy this down. I would read it off for you, but I've made the mistake of percent and pixels like 15 times now. So I'm not going to read it, but next one, inner shot, inner glow, I meant. Inner glow. All right. Whoops. Inner glow. So I don't want to do it blue. Let's do it. Let's do it a pretty. Let's do it a cool color. Let's do it like pink. That's as cool as they get. Let's do pink. Let's go this pink. We're going to go that pink right here. FF00F6. Zero, zero, pink. Next thing. Outer. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's. Every single time, by the way, you're going to switch the size. That's about the only thing you need to switch with this. And I'll center this. Zoom in on it copy everything except for the size because it depends on how big your logo is or not logo sorry text is and for my text it needs to be a smidge bit well that was almost perfect i almost just made it perfect to size so i like the six six was almost right there ideal i like that okay we're gonna go six last thing though you need to do with the layer style is outer glow and uh okay of course, this is here. Let me make sure I just copy this so I, I don't forget the color. And then I'm going to paste it. And then boom, right there. Now we got the same color. Outer glow is there. And yet again, all we're going to switch is the size. And we're just going to make this a little bigger because we're going to add one more effect that's going to make it a little better than that. So that's all we're going to do for the outer glow. Let's not make it too much. Too, too much. We're just going to make it a little bit. There we go. That's gonna be, that's gonna be perfect. All right, next thing you're gonna do, all you gotta do is, let's go ahead and make this simple, easy for you. You're gonna go Control C and Control V. That's gonna basically copy and then paste that same text and I'm just gonna, it, it moves it down for some reason, I don't know why, but just move it right back to place so it's right over it. Next thing you're gonna go do, you're gonna go all the way up to Filter, then you're gonna go Blur, and gauge and blur and then convert to smart object as it says right here and then i have it at pretty pretty set already actually let's just do 9.6 to make it easy 9.6 on the blur and you can see it looks like crap because it needs to be dragged underneath the original now you got a little bit more a little bit more of the glow last thing you're gonna have to do we're just gonna go ahead and do my favorite part, add new layer down here. I'm just gonna drag it up there so you guys can see it. Go over to the paintbrush 
And it doesn't matter what color this is, make sure it's a good size. So how I'm doing that, by the way, how I'm moving it up and down, it's just Alt and then right clicking. And just holding those two and then I just drag it left or right for bigger, right, smaller, left. So that's all I gotta do. But I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna just go around this whole thing. It's simple enough, I'm just painting it. Yeah. And then double click, go to layer style, color overlay, and we're gonna go with that same color. And of course, it didn't copy. I don't know why it didn't copy. Let me let me let me find that color one more time so I can so I can copy. I don't know why I didn't copy. But let's go ahead and copy that. And then go color overlay. And then there you go. There's the color. Now drag this down. Obviously it looks terrible because it's way too bright. Then you're gonna just go the opacity right here, change the slider, and go way, way down. That's all you're gonna really do there. And the other and then so that's it. Right there. Alright. So if you don't think this right here looks good enough, I'm gonna group it together. But if you don't think this right here looks good enough for the glowing effect, then of course you switch those sliders, as I was saying. So if you think the outer glow is a little much, then you go a little down. And actually that kind of looks better if you go down a little bit, or it could look worse. I don't know. It's all your opinion. It's all up to you. It's all your thing. So I might switch the size a little bit on here. I might switch it a little more just so it adds more of an effect. There we go. See, it doesn't, you know, all of it is up to your font too. That's another thing, how thick your font is. But one thing I actually do like to do is I, I like to add a little bit of a curve to it. So what I go is I just go over the text and then I go right up here to this curve looking T and then I go right here and I'm just going to go basically a bulge. Boom. And it's way, way too high. I'm going to switch that percentage to barely any percent so you barely notice it. I think that might, that might look a little better, yeah. So if you do that, obviously you can see the background image is not the same size. So I think that might be a little bit too much though. That might be a little bit too much of a bulge. And you can go inward if you wanted to or way, way all over the place if you really wanted to. But I'm just going to add, again, a little small one just so you can barely even see it, maybe plus two, just so you can subtly notice it. And uh, if I really, again, if I really wanted to do that, I'll, now I have to go again, cop, control C, control V, align it back to where it was, go up to filter, blur, if I can do it, <laughs> Gaussian blur, convert to smart object, 9.6, we might even lower this a little bit to seven. And then we'll go down, drag it under, and now you have a bulged <laughs> logo. And the other th cool things that you can do, let me just make this nice and simple for you. The other cool thing you can do is let's just do like EST 2014 is technically when I made this channel. So let's just do EST 2014 and we can add the same thing. We can even go right here if we really wanted to. Right here, and you can right click and then you can go right, where am I here? <laughs> you can go copy layer style, and then go right here, right click again, paste layer style, and boom, you have this. And obviously it's, it's completely pink because of that inner glow. It's just way too much. So you can see I'm moving it down a little bit to three pixels. And then the same thing here, control C, control V, realign it, if you really wanted to, realign it, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, convert to smart object, Keep it at that blur, and then go paintbrush, make a new layer, go paintbrush, make sure it's the size, not too too big, and just go over it one more time. And then you got that, double click, color overlay, go to, and of course, of course I forget the color again, not this one this one get the color again gonna go right here color overlay paste that color got the color again opacity pretty low pretty low since that's barely even one that's seen honestly even this one's kind of too high 
and you can kind of see it's a little bit it's a little much like you can it's a little too neon ish and there's many different things you can change like if you really want to get rid of that entirely but you can tell like this is the one that's making it definitely like way too much so maybe I, i'll lower the opacity on that one and then same thing down here maybe i'll just lower the opacity on this one a little bit so you just add a little i mean you do your own things you add your own little effects here and there wherever you think looks good however that's pretty much it i mean that that literally is all you need to do to make that glowing i mean you saw the glowing effect in the first video and that was for a logo specifically i went a little more in depth on even how to make the background on how to make well i didn't know <clears throat> sorry that's the other thing is a lot of people commented like what font did i use for my logo my logo is custom so i made my own logo but however this is kind of why i made this video here is to show you that you can custom make your own with that same effect style and it can look this good too i mean i think this looks really good maybe Maybe some things here and there I can change, but this is as simple and as easy as you can possibly, possibly get, honestly. And so all you need really is a nice font. Go look at thefont.com. Go grab a font that you like. Type it up. Add these effects to it. Maybe do the establish. Maybe do your YouTube. I don't, whatever you want to do. And now you got a, a glowing logo. It pops out and it, add, it looks really detailed too. So again, Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And go check out my other channel, Distinct. Um, show them some love. That's the music that you're hearing right now. That's that's where I get it all. And that's, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Peace.